Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today's video is going to be about recipe fails. Up till now, I only show you guys the ones that I think are good, that I want to share with the world. And so I've gotten comments like, oh, you know, you're so creative, you're the MacGyver of AIP, which that made my heart warm and fuzzy. But you guys don't really see some of the fails. And I have such a, a quick the collection of fails at this point after two years of having the channel, I thought it might be interesting to share some of them with you. So my number one fail <laughs> is my Octo Keto wraps. I made carb-free, high-protein wraps out of pureed octopus. <sighs> Apparently, when you put raw octopus in your Vitamix and puree it, it turns purple. My train of thought was that, well, you know, octopus has kind of an eggy texture, so maybe if I puree it into something egg-like, I can make something like a wrap that they do keto wraps with eggs, but I made it with octopus, but it was weirdly fishy, but I ate them. I ate them all. I don't have any pictures, um, which is probably for the best. <laughs> they were octopus, olive oil, coconut flour, and a little bit of seasonings. They were pureed in the Vitamix and baked on a sheet. And they were edible, but not shareable. I may have lost some subscribers with that one. Next fail, I tried to make coconut-free coconut milk. Well, I wanted to make an AIP milk alternative, so I was going to call it no coconut milk. Unfortunately, mm, mm, I wanted something that had the sweetness of coconut with the pure white color, with the creaminess, the fat content. Uh, what I came up with was not so great it's still an idea that i want to play with in the future because wouldn't that be awesome no coconut milk but right now i don't have a good recipe for that so no coconut fail recipe fail number three <laughs> pollock tiger apple bake i took white fish because i love to puree fish i love to puree everything i puree I, and my omelets are like my favorite i live on those i eat them every day but I tried to, in the process of creating the omelet, one of the other inventions I made was pureed white fish with tiger nut flour and apples. So strangely good, but too weird to share. I ate it all and I saved the recipe because I might make it for myself again in the future. It was almost dessert-like, not fishy, very lightly sweet, and very interesting. I enjoyed it, but I didn't think anybody else would. It was basically white fish, water, raw green plantain for a binder, pink lady apples, and tiger nut flour. Eh. <laughs> Recipe fail number four, gum. I tried to make AIP gum. I special ordered the um, like um, chewing gum base from Mexico and um, mixed it with arrowroot, flour and came up with the most horrendous concoction that I would never share or make again. All right, time to try it. Here we go. Here's a gum. <laughs> There's a little too much flour on the outside. I'm gonna dust more of that off. Mm. All right, yeah. I mean, you could chew it. bubbles <laughs> yeah this is just the beginning of my AIP gum adventures I mean you could blow bubbles with it but mm, it was bad I do have other ideas for an AIP gum it's something that I I bought the ingredients for I just haven't played around with it because it was a sticky mess but it's something that I might revisit in the future oh recipe fail number five <sighs> do-it-yourself coughing I was going to make my own dehydrated fig beverage instead of paying for coughing I was gonna show you guys how to make your own. Ooh, it just didn't work. Okay. This is 10 times weaker than coughing. I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead because I still have some coughing left. It's delicious. It's like eight or nine bucks. I'll just buy it. I don't know what they're doing to those figs to make coughing, but just buy the coughing. <laughs> Recipe fail number six, sprouted coconut. I got this idea from watching YouTube videos. You know how YouTube has a way of springing up things on the sidebar that interests you even though you never knew you had any interest in it until you saw that and you were like, oh, 
sprouted coconut, yeah. So apparently, if you take a coconut, it's gotta be like the kind with all the husk around the outside, which I didn't know, like the whole green stuff. And you bury it and you wait and you keep it moist. The inside grows into this foamy, marshmallowy deliciousness. I wanted to replicate it at home, but I bought a regular brown coconut and I let it sit in the cabinet for weeks and it just grew mold. <laughs> Fail. Um, would I revisit it again? Maybe, because oh, I just want to try that beautiful, fluffy, white center of the coconut, but I haven't had the desire to try it just yet, but maybe someday I'll revisit it. Recipe fail number six. Hidden liver smoothie. Ooh. <laughs> It was anything but hidden. And I love to hide some liver and some anything, right? I mean, I make hidden liver breakfast cake and I enjoy it. There was no, it was just the biggest fail ever. To hide any amount of liver in a smoothie, it has to be such a minute amount, why bother, you know? Um, and to put any amount that counts, oh, it was just gross. It was one of the very few things I've actually thrown away. If something is even mildly edible, I'll eat it. I'll put some kind of sauce on it and I will eat it. This was not drinkable, edible. It wasn't salvageable. I knew that if I tried to add anything to it to make it better, I would just end up throwing those added ingredients away too. Mmm. Along the same lines, recipe fail number seven, fish smoothie. <laughs> so, I wanted to make a protein, high protein smoothie that had, um, you know, no collagen. I can't have collagen, I don't tolerate it, I don't tolerate gelatin, but I wanted it to have some kind of protein in it. And so liver wasn't gonna be it. Um, so then I said, well, you know, white fish is flavor neutral. Maybe if I cook up some white fish, puree that into the smoothie, what happens is the texture. The texture is not good. The fish never purees, even in the Vitamix. It just never purees smoothly into the smoothie. So when you're drinking it, you're getting these little, like, sweater-pilled pieces of fuzzed fish. So the texture is bad. You can taste a mild fish in it, too. I mean, I tried to cover it up. There was arugula. There was avocado. Um, mm, fish smoothie fail. <laughs> Did I skip one? How many do I have here? But I don't quite have 10, which is a good thing, I guess. Um, so yeah, just, I'm just gonna stop counting because I'm tired and I lost count. So there was one that involved kidney. That was a fail. There was also a polenta pudding. There. Well, that's an interesting color. Very interesting. This is actually a soft, Polenta. All right, it's like goo. Hmm. So there you have it, guys. Um, there's a couple of recipe fails. Although I don't think that Pollock Tiger Apple Bake really should be considered a fail. And so I made this note on it, would be cheesecake with oil and dates. It did have kind of a cheesecake-like texture, which is very bizarre. No one's gonna make that. I'm not even gonna try to share that. Oh, a fish-based cheesecake without cheese. They're just gonna be like, you've lost your mind, woman, but it was kind of tasty. Anyway, all right. I hope this had some entertainment value for you guys. I will try to plan ahead and come up with an actual recipe video for you for next week. Time get away from this week, but maybe I gave you some ideas for some fun things to make. I don't know. Let me know if any of these sounded mildly interesting to you, or you want to see the recipe. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments, <laughs> and uh, I'll come at you next week. Till then, if you want more behind the scenes or recipes that never make it to YouTube, good recipes, check me out on Patreon. There's a link below. I have some real good ones up there. Hope everyone's doing great. Happy, healthy, well. See you next week. And until then, be healthy.